Two days after one of Indonesia's most destructive earthquakes hit the town of Yogyakarta, leaving 6,000 dead and 1.5 million homeless, another disaster struck and would continue to wreak havoc and destruction for years to come. On May 29, 2006, a mud volcano suddenly erupted near the peaceful village of Parong in the Sidoarjo Regency of East Java. The world would come to know this volcano as Lucy. Lucy was by no means your usual mud volcano, and no one was to know that four years on the volcano would be spewing forth up to 150,000 cubic metres of hot mud per day, flooding an area of about 700 hectares with the depth of mud ranging from 8 to 20 metres. Lucy was, and still appears to be unstoppable, and over a short period of time, some 100,000 residents have lost their homes, belongings and livelihoods, not to mention in some cases their lives. No one knows at this point in time just how long this volcano will remain active. Some scientists say it could continue to erupt and grow for some 35 to 50 years. It is rare for any disaster to receive as much attention nor create as much controversy as Lucy. Due to the past controversy over the cause of this disaster, the affected communities have not received the much needed international aid that is normally the case with other disasters. The time has come for the world to recognise Lucy as a unique disaster and look at the positive side of the fact we are witnessing for the first time the birth of an extremely powerful mega mud volcano. Now is the time to commence investigations into long-term solutions to environmental effects and social impact of Lucy, and to assist the people affected by this ongoing disaster. The potential for further loss and destruction of thousands of homes and livelihoods is of paramount concern to the people of the area and all involved in the management of Lucy. Directors from the Humanitas Siderajo Fund spent three days in mid-April 2010 visiting the affected area as guests of BPLS, the government agency managing this disaster. Geoffrey Richards and Angus Carnegie were amazed at how quickly and dramatically the situation had changed and were able to witness the effects of a second eruption which occurred on April the 9th. During their visit they were able to view the environmental management of the mud being pumped into the Parong River and see firsthand the already 83 hectare island being built near the mouth of the Parong. The Parong River is a large, fast-flowing river, and locals living by its banks continue to live their lives with no visible effect from the slightly muddy waters. Livestock graze on its banks, bird life is abundant, and fishermen reel in healthy catches to feed their families and earn a small living. Out of this disaster needs to come hope, encouragement, and positive outcomes for the people of the region. The Humanitas Sidoarjo Fund, through a cooperative working agreement with BPLS, aims to assist both BPLS and the people of the affected area by raising awareness of the ongoing effects of Lucy, whilst assisting in consultation with many aspects of the environmental and social aspects of this disaster. The Humanitas Sidoarjo Fund is proud to be the first NGO to be granted permission to assist with this ongoing disaster. The Humanitas Sidoarjo Fund has been formed for scientific and social research into Lucy with the goal of finding possible solutions to the associated problems whilst assessing the long-term impact it will have on both an environmental and a social level. We believe that until this geological phenomenon is better understood, only then can long-term social development programs be effectively implemented. <laughs>